Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the sine, cos and tan graphs. In this video we'll cover all three and we'll go over the key features of each one that you need to know. So we'll start off with looking at the sine graph. So let's start off by looking at the axes. Now on the y axis you can see we've got values of 1, 0 and minus 1 and on the x axis we've got values of 0 through to 360 degrees. So these are in terms of angles. Uh, so uh, what are the main features? Well the graph starts at 0, 0 uh, it goes upwards, and it's a wave shape, and it peaks uh, at 90 degrees where the value in the y axis is 1. So that's the maximum of the sine graph. It crosses the x axis again at 180 degrees. Uh, it has a minimum point at 270 degrees of minus 1 on the y value. And then it goes back up to 0 uh, on the y, y axis, sorry, at x equals 360 degrees. Another thing to point out, and this occurs for all of the sine, cos and tan graphs, is that the graph is periodic. Uh, so what does this mean? Well, it means that the function repeats, uh, as you can see in this second image. Uh, so once it goes past 360 degrees, uh, you get the same shape, and below zero degrees, you get the same shape. Uh, so it's one continuous function, and you can go as far in either direction as you like. Uh, it just continues with the same pattern. So moving on, let's look at the cosine graph. Uh, now, as you can see, this is the exact same as the sine graph, it's just been shifted along. Uh, so rather than starting at zero, we start at one now, uh, on the y value that is. Uh, so we have the peak at zero this time, uh, so that's this value here. Uh, then as we go through to 90 degrees, the graph crosses the x-axis. It has a minimum point at uh, 180, so that's a value of negative one. Crosses the x-axis again at 270 and peaks again at 360 degrees. So again, you could continue this graph and it would look like this, uh, as we have in this image below. So once again, the function is periodic. So another thing which is worth knowing uh, for cosine and sine graphs is that even if you can only remember the shape of them and you can't remember where the values occur, uh, you can work them out if you have a calculator. And all you'd have to do uh, is just plug in some angles. So for instance, uh, if we're looking at the cosine graph, if we were to do cosine of 90 degrees, uh, that would give us a value of zero because as you can see cos 90 is zero same if we were to do cosine 180 degrees we get this value here that would give us the minus one uh, you could do the same for any value and that would allow you to plot the correct shape of the graph so finally let's look at tangent graphs then uh, and you'll notice that these are significantly different from cosine and sine graphs uh, now uh, what are the key features well first of all you can see that it goes from minus 90 to 90 degrees in this one period so we can say that the period is 180 degrees, whereas in the sine and the cos graphs it was 360 degrees. Uh, so this means that the graph repeats itself every 180 degrees. So the key features to point out with the tangent graph are that it crosses the origin uh, and that also it has these asymptotes. So these are lines which the graph gets ever closer to but it doesn't actually touch. Uh, so these occur at minus 90 and 90, so they occur on the other side as well. Uh, and then they occur again at 270. Uh, so you can see that these asymptotes repeat every 180 degrees, uh, giving rise to the graph that looks like the one we have here. So this is many, fun uh, many repeat periods of the tangent function. If you want to get some practice with sine, cos and tan graphs, then we do have an online exam available, uh, which you can have a go at. You can get there through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different question types uh, and multiple different questions, uh, all of which you'll get instant feedback on. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.